They've been called the windows to the soul. A local ophthalmologist thinks they can reveal even more. Other than skin, eye is the only organ where you can see directly the tissue without cutting or without any kind of invasive method. Dr. Cecilia Lee is a professor of ophthalmology at UW Medicine and specializes in the retina, the back wall inside our eye. She is studying more deeply what doctors already know, that during fetal development, our eyes emerged from our brain. Uh, and then the fact that the eye actually came out of the brain as a brain tissue during our embryology, it's uh, quite a catch in terms of you being able to just literally use the eyeball as a window to the brain. This connection has doctors wondering, what can the health of our eyes say about the health of our brain? And can it signal dementia? Dr. Lee says yes, and she points to a common eye condition known as age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. It's not causative, uh, but if we compare people who have AMD to people who never develop AMD, then their risk of developing Alzheimer's goes up by 50 to 60 percent. AMD can cause blurry vision as people age, even vision loss how the eye ages might correlate with how the brain ages? So that's a million dollar question. And Dr. Lee wants to find out. Her research published in the Lancet Commission's journal shows impaired vision later in life can be a factor in cognitive decline. So then brain is really thinking over time, trying to figure out what am I seeing? So then it's not able to spend time in forming new memories. Lee's team also found improved vision after cataract surgery decreased the risk of dementia by 30%. Lee's work at UW Medicine's Corrales Johnson Retina Center are using advanced imaging technology to further her research. So now what we are saying is that let's go ahead and characterize the retina even better, much better than just saying this person had a diagnosis. We are able to uh, really get a microscopic view of the retina uh, in you know, 10 seconds. But more research is needed as such correlations have been deemed in medical circles as controversial and conflicting with other neurological conditions. Dr. Lee wants to gather as much data as possible to provide more clarity. Her ongoing study requires older patients' retinas to be examined every two years until they develop dementia. But not everyone can make it to a clinic, so Lee says we will come to you. The ACT study has, been, um, has had this capacity of doing home visits for many decades. Our study staff will take our machine because uh, they are pretty portable. The goal, learn as much as possible from these windows that have the potential to unlock the mysteries of the brain. For HealthLink, I'm Christine Pei.